¿Dónde? Hoy. <laughs> you know, um, we were so focused on performing um, and just play the game we wanted to play that uh, I personally kind of forgot that this was a final uh, during the 90 minutes. Um, We were uh, very aware of uh, the team that uh, came here uh, today, uh, and we just wanted to be better on the field. So Steve uh, and the coaching staff uh, put the plan together, um, and we focus on executing it. Um, and that's it. Uh, now we are thinking about recovering and preparing for uh, our next opponent that uh, it's going to be again a final. MLS Cup, but uh, I think that our approach will be uh, exactly the same than these previous two rounds. Yeah, I'm so happy. Uh, we are very pleased uh, with the game that uh, we've played, with the result and with the trophy, but um, this is not the one we want to have um, or not the only one that we want to have. And um, we uh, look forward for the bigger one. Thank you. Gracias, mi querida. Pero el jueves, ¿qué Austin esperabas? Hoy vimos a un Austin que se sentó bastante atrás, no presionó alto. Tus centrales tuvieron mucha oportunidad también de salir jugando con el balón. ¿Te sorprendió esa facilidad de Austin o es más mérito del de juego y el plan que tú mencionas que tuvo Austin? Sí, yo creo que Austin vino con... Um, we showed that we had a great team. And I think precisely that being the team is what gave us a result today. Um, got one question that's for uh, both or either of you, and then I'll have another one for Colin afterward. Talk a little bit about uh, the defensive strategy of midfield, and uh, you, you guys just forced them into a lot of mistakes, uh, especially in the first half, but throughout the game. What, what was it that worked so well, and in keeping Druisi from being an issue in the game? Uh, for me, uh, both Kelly and Fifu have been tremendous to today. Um, the uh, work that they've put in uh, managing, uh, being in between uh, their sixes uh, and the outside backs, covering also our wingers, uh, was uh, everything uh, to me and, and to the team. So, um, yeah, I think that uh, we've won the battle in the midfield. Um, but pretty much in every area of the field. So um, we've talked about uh, the possibility of Austin playing with two sixes and one number 10 or one number six and two eights. Um, and we were ready for uh, to adjust uh, during the game in real time uh, to that. Uh, I think that uh, we've read it uh, correctly and, and that's uh, the result that uh, we got uh, at the end. Alan, uh, can you just talk a little bit about what Elia has brought to this team, what it's like playing with him, what it is that makes him special? Yeah, I mean, he's, <clears throat> yeah, Elia is a cog in the midfield. I think, you know, he was, he was talking about me and Steve today, but I think for him, he's the one that puts us in great positions and gives us the confidence to, to move forward. And, um, I mean, he's been tremendous all year for us. And um, especially in this game, I think for us in the midfield, um, That was opportunity for us to win the game. I think that's what midfield wins the game, and especially with Austin and their catalyst being Drewsy. Uh, I think for us in our game plan was to limit their time and space and force Drewsy in, in wide positions and make the play predictable. Um, and I think we just did a tremendous job just collectively all over the field. We were aggressive, we were intense. Um, we were, um, you know, we were capable of making opportunities and we ended up capitalizing on some, but I think it was a testament to the group and the week that we had. I think mentality wise, you know, we were ready for this game. I think uh, in Austin, uh, the past game we faced, they asked a lot of questions of us and, uh, and we weren't able to uh, get tight on them and uh, create a lot of pressure and they were able to kind of pick us apart. And I think today we fine tuned that. Like I said, I mean, this week we, we, we studied them well, we trained well, and uh, we were ready for today. Well, I'm gonna... Jesus didn't mention that, but uh, in your opinion, do you think he deserves to win the MVP award? Um, yeah, I feel Chicho deserves to win it. Um, you know, more importantly, if we end up winning the cup, definitely one of us deserves to win it. 
Um, you know, he's a complete forward, and we're happy to have him on the team. And, you know, hopefully we win. Um, but again, most importantly, that, that we make it all the way through it with the cup. Uh, second question is you've now exchanged jerseys or shirts uh, two weekends in a row now. Uh, what would it mean with the, the next one? Um, yeah, that would be very important for us to get the third jersey swap. All right, really, Kellen, this is for both of you guys. Um, you, you got off to such a fantastic start today, and clearly you've been a second half team that's been the reputation over the course of the season. Did, did you have a sense coming into the match that you'd start on the right foot, get off to the hot start? Was that the feeling in the locker room? Can you tell these things before a match? Thank you. Yeah, just kind of reiterate from training. I think going into this game, we're confident. And um, <clears throat> I think I think everyone, you know, looks at us as a second half team, but for us to to be where we want to be and take it to the next level, we have to have a complete game. And so that starts from the first minute. I think we did a great job just the warm up, getting the nerves out. Um, you know, being clean. And then from the first minute on, I think for us, we were ready. We were aggressive. We were intense. Uh, we, were, we were clinical. Um, you know, we got that first opportunity able to, to score a goal and created numerous opportunities. We were constantly on the front foot. And um, like I said, I think we were just, we were ready for today. And I think for us to, to lift up the cup, um, got to be aggressive from the first minute on because of you know, in this game, there's no forgiveness, and um, you know, you know, you don't start off strong. I mean, it's hard to, to come back in these games. Congratulations, guys, on your win today. Thank you. When you're young and you're playing in your neighborhood, or kicking the ball up against the wall, you know, the backyard. Some of us have those dreams too, but not all of us make it as a professional footballer. You guys are in that moment that you probably dreamed of for your entire career to be on the stage and play such a good game what does it mean to each of you to have this moment yeah i mean since as a little kid you always dream of being professional i mean for us you know we play a game that we love to play as a child in this game we play it for a living and so for us i mean as as competitors um we always like the opportunity to, to play for something i mean obviously the regular season is great but you know we're this close to, to playing in a game for the city, for us, for, for the fans, to lift the trophy, and that makes everything so much sweeter. I think just having a reflection on the years, we worked so hard to get to this point. And uh, for, for some of us, it's a dream come true. It's a, it's a huge game, but I think it's a testament to, to all our hard work and all the people in our support system that got us this far. So um, now it's exciting times. I mean, it's a childhood dream to, to obviously play professionally, but another dream is to, to lift up trophies. And on top of that, I think that um, we have fun playing soccer and uh, we keep ha having fun. Um, and that's why we are here uh, the day that um, we don't enjoy what we do and we, we have to change um, something. So, um, yeah, very happy to share these moments with a group of people that uh, have the same goals and um, we can uh, deliver uh, what is expected from us. Uh, from the whole club that uh, expect uh, that from from the team. So um, it's more than a dream. Now it's a goal. And uh, that's, as Kellen said, uh, what uh, we work for every day. Thank you. Kellen, uh, or really both of you, actually. Um, Steve doesn't like to talk about himself too much. He likes to give credit to the, the coaches, staff, to you guys, obviously, and with, with good merit. But... Um, what can you guys say about a, a first year head coach that you know sets a win record? He's up for a coach of the year finalist. Uh, he has you guys at a game away from winning the cup, and just kind of the mentality that he brings into you guys being able to let you guys relax and, and complete this game plan to perfection that you've got to fall into. I think, from my standpoint, first and foremost, I think Steve deserves a lot of credit, and I was rather disappointed for him not winning coach of the year for what he's done in his first year and the records that he's broken. and and overall, we've had a you know a good season. I thought he deserved more respect. And uh, I mean, I think for Steve, his standpoint is he doesn't care about individual awards. He 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 looks at the bigger picture, which is MLS Cup. Um, but I mean, I, I can't you know thank Steve enough for for all he's done for for all of us. I think he's gotten the best out of all of us. He's implemented his system and his tactics, and I think collectively as a group. You know, we bought into it, and he's gotten the best out of every single player. 
Um, I think Steve also, I mean, he, he comes from a laid back approach, but uh, he, there's sometimes times Ilya can, 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 uh, <laughs> can agree with me and he's really gotten into us. So he has that switch, but um, I think Steve, he's been, he's been tremendous. He's been really great. And, you know, we, we all want to win, but especially we, we love playing for him and, and we, we hope to, to make him proud and lift up that trophy on Saturday. One second. Um, this is his team. Um, this team has his identity. Um, and everything that we do and that uh, we can achieve, it's going to be because of him in the first place. So um, nothing to add uh, to what Kellen said. Um, very happy and proud of having him uh, leading this team. Thank you. Vamos. Hi. Hi.